so. Package is out of the water and they're just securing it to the rail for the load transfer, it looks like. Roger. Did we bring up the right one? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! A little confusing down there. <laughs> it got turned around. A little yellow. Oh, uh, Rennie, that would be your west. fault, wouldn't it? Oh. Oh, shots fired. They pulled out of the water and it's yeah, out of yellow socks. Rennie was on the winch at the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's no marine growth on this. Uh, and just to yeah. see the bio falling on those socks. Yeah. So the the yellow, like if you're looking at satellite feed three, you can see the deck operations. And uh, to confirm that this is the old one, Fabio was pointing out that the yellow cylinder looking things, that's the sock that's protecting the instrument, protecting it from biofouling. And they, they do look dirtier than the ones that we just deployed. Is the weight still on it? They already got the weights on deck. No, it was a single... Oh, the, I, I saw that on earlier. I can't tell from here. Don't drop it. <laughs> What's the green cable? That I don't know, but it That looks ends like in it. nothingness. Oh, you're at the end of your leash? Almost. Oh, look at that. Ed, what? are you zooming in on that for us? Yeah. Oh, That's thanks. a bike uh, gear, isn't it? That's uh, interesting. It does look like that. They're occupied with something else. Oh, satellite feed one looks like a bike gear? Yeah. Yeah. What is it? A bicycle, the main Maybe. gear of a bike. No, there's a green Valmont cable attached to it. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah, just out of view on the other end. Yeah, we're trying to figure out what that actually is. Like, is it part of a failed mooring? Or maybe it's, maybe that is separate from the green foul mat. I can't tell if it's connected. It looks like it's the orientation of, but. Well, I see kind of a shadow in the ground that looks, oh, uh, you want to pick it up? Um, one of the green cables is connected to a Titan instrument, which I believe is a seismometer-ish. Yes. Category. There is a seismo out there, and that would be no. Do not pick up the So answer. in that case, I would <laughs> refrain from picking it up. <laughs> you got a little map there in front of you on the dive plan. Oh, now you've made dirt come in here. You're in trouble now. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that looks like it's a Titan. Let <laughs> me clear the ship tracks. Okay. Start moving. Uh, so, Dirk. Once Dirk gets on. Mute. Okay. Which is our first oily that we're looking at? We're looking at... We'll go to the straw mooring first. Okay. Um, pretend I don't know which one is still down there. Okay, it is the <laughs> one towards the south nice one. east, or southwest of the platform. There's three, it's the middle one of the three. The middle one, got it. Straw one. Yeah, middle one. Go in the middle. It's the one that shows Money, up yeah. on Atlanta sonar when yeah. you're 50 meters away. That's the one, yeah. yeah. So first I will move to the IP 90 meters, and then we'll continue on from there. 90 meters, 215. 215, rudder. Bridge nav. Can we step 90 meters, bearing 215? Roger. Thank you. You were so close to getting the call that in. I know, I could see oh. it in your face. He would have choked up, though. No way. I've been, I was born ready for this moment. <laughs> oh. Yeah, and just, this is a 150 meter tall mooring, just for anyone navigating. Roger. Uh, 
Uh, I forget where I left Atlanta oh. Sonar. Is it 10 meter divisions that I put it back to? It is 10 meter. Right. Go ahead, Bridge. 215. Thank you. So I'll range that up to 20 or higher. Uh, 20 is fine. We'll 20, rather. Yeah. 20 and 10. That's where it back normally is. To the is. standard, yeah. Get this bus on the road. Yeah. I think we've seen every square foot of this 50 meter radius. I did my best <laughs> for my part. <laughs> <laughs> Probably 30 marks from Hercules. So I don't know. If you wandered around in a Walmart parking lot at night with a pen light, you could wander around for a long time until you find your car. Yeah. You saying there's a car down here? <laughs> you saying we're in a Walmart? Or your your phone, more likely your phone that you dropped while you were walking in. Yeah. <coughs> it was a bit like watching a Roomba work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that can be very interesting, though. Dirk, you're muted. Oh, you ruined it. <coughs> million times I've done this. I forgot the mud feet on that thing are so big. Eat the last really pineapple? Yeah. Surprised me when it boinged out of the mud five oh, meters. Oh, okay, okay. Those metal steel feet? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll bring more when you guys get back to Honolulu. Yeah, I should have had them come up a meter at a time and wait, meter at a time and wait. <gasps> Avengers, a chance yeah, especially in straight. You've seen probably seen those straight of Georgia recoveries where they tumble and then the whole ship leans over as you're trying to haul it in. So you just put pressure on and wait, and yeah. after a minute or five minutes, it slowly suctions free. Yeah, and a lot of times they have to <coughs> come up to some amount of tension on the winch. Yeah, wait, watch the tension on the winch bleed off, and then yeah. come up a little bit more. Yeah, that's exactly what we have to do quite often. We never really do it here, so but just yeah. that's purely just because we don't. If I had to do this again, besides not wrapping the wire around Atlanta, oh. I would <laughs> brought it out of the mud a little slower. Yeah. It's just we normally never really get to see the liftoffs as well anyways. That's the funnest part, almost as fun as landing. How do you usually do it? You back, back off with the ROV, like 100 meters. <laughs> 100 meters? Yeah, it's pretty, normally we, we, the only time we're close to the wire when it's moving is laying down the wire initially. Nice. But we, we're way off till it's like 30 meters off the ground. Then we come out, find it, lay it down, hook in, and then go way back. How does, don't you jack your instrument all up with the rigging and the instrument? Yeah, yeah, but that's all we can do, that's, we haven't really ever destroyed anything, luckily, really? but hmm. mostly luck. You've never got fouled up in a... Oh, wait a minute. I've been out there when they have put the hook in the freaking instrument platform, tipped it over. Oh, yeah. There's, <laughs> but just not in recent years. <laughs> yeah. The kind of the two-wire operations is kind of a new thing for us. We haven't done too much of it. It's a little yeah. frowned upon. I would like to see, uh, I gotta coordinate with the deck guys, but a better, bigger clump weight and a longer stinger, but it's a trade off on the deck, right? Yeah, but there's no, maybe no reason for it to be a six foot strap. Maybe we can get away with like a four footer basketed instead of like a six footer choke. Yeah, I think it's easier for Mike to get it over oh, the yeah, rail Oh, yeah, to set way. up the weight on that lid there. Yeah, he hangs it over the rail. Yeah. But the stinger shouldn't matter, right? could have a longer stinger because he's well, lowering it down and securing it, isn't he? Yeah. It's kind of that trade-off of, I think. I'm not sure. I haven't watched him deploy the whole thing or I haven't paid attention. 
Yeah, the single pick is really hard because it's so tall. So I think if we do, yeah, I don't know. He wants a shorter stinger. That's what he's been asking for, but we don't have really anything. Shorter one, yeah, yeah. It would be. I wonder if we can just do... Catalans is on the move a little bit. Multiple yep. ones with multiple um, pairings in between, so you can pick it with a crane at any point. No. But then it can't go on the winch. It, then it gets all tangled up when we're... You see how we're drooping it out in front of us? Yeah, that's it, tough. It gets all wrapped. It gets ugly. Got to play rocks, paper, scissors between the ROV and deck crew. Yeah. Or perhaps a game of bugs. Why would he want a shorter stinger? Is he not? Is he doing it in one pick? Yeah, you want like I think to do it in one pick, a shorter stinger. How's he doing it now? He's. I think it's like tie it to the cleat. Low transfer. Yeah, that's pick. how you got to do it with one. Yeah. Crank. Yeah, a lot, a lot of smaller boats have big. Uh, they have a thing welded to the side of the ship. Yeah. So they uh, pick it up, and lower it down, and then it lands in a like a toilet bowl thing, kind of. It's like a hook thing. And that'll take the load for big heavy things. Okay. Okay. And they can put the winch wire on it. Some I think the Thompson weights? does it something like that. I yeah, I don't, it's been a while. I'd like to check it out because it's definitely a spot that probably could be improved upon. There's a whole stack of weights there. I think a heavier round comp weight would. Yeah, maybe a lead ball. Doesn't yeah. Have to be as big. Yeah. Maybe so. A headache ball. Yeah, a regular headache ball. Because they don't. <clears throat> I think these weights kite, you know, and they twist around the wire and. Yeah. They definitely rudder. This. Yeah, it's hard. Same reason then it's like same then reason your mooring balls are round, right? Then it's. I think the problem is then you need the crane to move it around on deck too. Absolutely, it stays on the. Yeah. It would be nice to not have it on a separate chunk though. Like if it's just in line, maybe that's good too. You can get clamshell uh, headache balls. Or what we need is what we do on the Coast Guard ship is we just use a big OSCO block. So then you can just run the, they just run the crane wire with all with like shackles and pairings all through the OSCO block. So then you really get rid of any kind of height problems. So then you can have a long stinger and run it on the, onto the crane block. Yeah. Oh, that's a can of something. Is that Fanta? It looks like Fanta, yeah. Well, you have the, I think on the Thompson, they have the winch wire comes up through the, through the crane. It does. And they have a crutch too, right? They put the crane in for heavy yep. loads because they get all that wire out. Yep, there's a crutch and it comes up through the deck. Uh, and they have the trawl wire wrench underneath the deck. Yeah. With the 916s. Yeah, it's heavier wire, right? 60 meters, 232. Big boat. 60 meters. How long is the Thompson? Is it 85 or 90? 89 meters? 278 feet, I think. What about seven decks? By 58 feet. I think it's like 89 meters. Oh, I don't know. I remember it being much bigger than the vessels we normally use. Well, it's twice as wide. Yeah, it is wider. Mr. Thompson, I want to get on that boat again. So what you're looking at there, it's the, uh, it's the, I think, oh, well, it's all bundled. It should be the connector. Bridge now. The Just second connector from your right. Head that way, you'll Hold pick position. up the, yeah. They're all running out that way eventually. Three of them or two of them? It's just one cable. It's the one without tape on it. Oh, we've drug, drugged the other ones back, have we? Yeah, I think so. But it's this. That's the one in the mud, right underneath yeah. the lasers. That's the one you want to follow. This is like that game where like the ball is underneath the hat, and there's three hats, and you have to, like find the ball. <laughs> the cup game. <laughs> yeah, the cup game. 
Cup game. Yeah, well, hats. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Remember that <laughs> Same time thing. we were? <laughs> Three card Monty. Yeah. Well, I had enough untangling uh, cables for this cruise. We had that big session at Endeavor. When the RV was kind of floating around, not working right. Oh, God. Yeah, I think it's that's the one there. Yep. <laughs> At least your cables are not black. Pardon? Oh, we did a cable survey for the Navy, uh, and they wanted us to follow all the hydrophone cables, and they were all black. Stealth cables, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm surprised they're not. And they were crisscrossed. Mud, co mud colored. Oh, yeah, it's brown. Horrible. That's an <laughs> opportunity missed. Yeah. Yeah, but they were all the same. You couldn't tell the difference of them. And there were some that were actually suspended. And oh yeah. You put a cable tracker on the. Is that okay. Right. Uh, it wasn't loud. We were doing visual only. Oh. Huh. Probably gonna get an email. Hey, you can't talk about that. So I think that this ah. that's lit up in 80, 80 meters. Yeah, that's the, 70, uh, that's the mooring. 70 meters. So I stopped the ship a bit early because I saw that our IP was a different offset than the ones I was looking at. So yeah, it should be 65 at 240 from the IP. Roger, yeah. So I measured that out and I stopped at Atlanta, uh, hopefully within reach. Otherwise, I'll just bump it a little bit, but it's kind of, it, it should be close. It'll just, uh, Atlanta's got a ways to swing to catch up. Yeah. Looks like Atlanta and Hercules are looking in the same direction. No off by uh, 30 meters. Uh, 30. Good. It's not quite. Mm, pretty close. I'd say like right now. Yeah, we're off yeah. by. <laughs> yeah. And then that, yeah, but that like looks degrees. pretty close to this. 35 degrees. Uh, Doesn't yeah. that? No. So Change the offset in the any file while you're waiting. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, in just break the whole thing. <laughs> any? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I've never really messed around with that. I, I, the first time really was when Trevor was scrolling through it the other day, and we were taking a look. It's like set to point eight or something. I forget. I can't uh. be right. We changed the name on uh, some buttons. <laughs> and oh, activated yeah. uh, reverse suction. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we I changed it the other night on the fly. It didn't kill me. I was half expecting the power to go off. <laughs> as long as you don't reboot topside. It's, it's just a GUI reboot. In theory. You gotta remember how many wraps you have. Yeah, that whole thing. We just sat down and don't have any wraps. Dan, you ever pulled the emergency brake on a subway just to see what it would do? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't do anything. <laughs> That's fake. It comes off in your hand. That's like asking Dan if you ever pulled the fire alarm in elementary school. 40 meters, Herc's on our... Roger. That, that tracks with... Uh, yep, yeah, should be good. Randy, while we're trucking over there... Yep. Uh, on your radio... Yes. At the top it says NA channel 1. Yep. And underneath that on the left it says volume. Yep. And there's a white bar that extends out. Where does, how far out does that white bar go? Like it's past the A. How far out is it currently set to? Yeah. Uh, nearly, to yeah, <laughs> near, nearly all the way. Okay. That set to 11. Lot. Yeah. <coughs> Almost all the way. So I was, I thought that the radio was going out on SPL, and I, I double checked all my programming and everything, and it's, it's solid. And I think it's just so loud over there that your mic's picking was picking it up. Yeah, the and the. Radio talk hasn't worked for a while. Yeah, how do we fix that? It doesn't work. No, if I try and talk here to deck on the radio, it doesn't. Because right, you're talking on video right now. It's set to video. 
Uh, I tried from the pilot station no, and the co-pilot. this radio right here. It was set to video. Probably you got your mooring oh, pick or your survey oh, you pick. should fix that. I just turned it. It's a random, right? Oh. I'll, I'll go on page 9 and... So now it's on Nautilus Channel 1. Page 9 yeah. from the Try again, Dan. So it goes through your radio. This is our radio. Our radio is connected to the intercom. Uh, I see, I see. Now we know. That's how the video engineers on watch ring me to come we're bolting we're out of my here. bunk and racing up here. I mean, yeah, we're so close to any of those. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I did it right, I think Atalanta should be stopping in the next 15 meters. 22 meters. So it should work Dead ahead. now. I guess you followed the right cable, eh? Danny, do you mind framing up that target in uh, Atalanta sonar? Which should be the same as framing her cup. I just want to watch as we approach it. Thank you. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. 15 meters out. So when we get there, it this one, unlike the other one, has two parking positions. It was like a um, series of moorings from the platform to this one to the next one. The final one has already been recovered, so there's an oily going to nothing, but that oily is still plugged into here. Same with this oily we're following now is also plugged into that same mooring. So we've got two parking positions to install and two connectors to free. And then um, after that, we'll probably move on to benthic surveys. Okay. Hey, uh, you wanna go? Can I go ahead and turn uh, Danny Cam back on? Yep. Excellent. There's something up ahead. Where's my scan reverse? I'm just oh gonna yeah. watch as this comes there it closer. Is. Yeah. It's yeah. the object in the distance. Yeah, We've I got the it. beacon on board right now, but I, I think I want to hold off clipping into this frame with the beacon until we actually know we've got time to recover it. Right. Does ONC own all these beacons now? What's that? Are these all ONC beacons now? You're very quiet, but I'm thinking oh, you're saying, sorry. do we own these beacons? Yeah, they're not rentals. No, they're not rentals. We have, I think, seven or so, eight wow. uh, deep, like 3,000 meter rated beacons, or seven maybe? Just inching closer, so Atalanta and should still be moving. We've got a few that are 1,000 meter rated, but <laughs> they're on board, but. Just don't want to overshoot it. So. Can't use them. Do you have your own transducer too, for uh, when you go on other ships? Yeah, we have our own range two system, yeah. Okay. I see what you're doing, moving target over there. <laughs> a little bit of a hat game. <laughs> hat game. <laughs> is, is he running? playing the hat game up He's there? He's playing the hat game. <laughs> oh, he was moving the little thing that I was trying to scan back and forth <laughs> by changing it as a heading. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is it Steering the navigator. Yeah, yeah, I was like, well, it's gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Where'd it go? Boring's gone. Yeah. Oh, pain disappeared. All right, it's 40 meters out from Atalanta. It's still creeping, but I can bump a little closer. I think I stopped the move well in advance, so can afford another another bit. How much you need? Another we are going to, yeah, we're going to have to fly the other connector free. Another 10 meters? Yeah, go another 10. <coughs> Doesn't uh, look like these are on the nice side of the mooring, do they? That's Atalanta's heading now. Yeah, it does look like 200. it's on the... Uh, well, one thing we learned from the previous one, it's not hard to spin the top um, train wheel. It's actually wheel. coming towards you. No, it still. you can chase it around and around. Yeah, you can really <laughs> you can really have fun with it if you wanted to. So if it's on the wrong side, we could probably spin it. Just grab it and pull it. <laughs> yeah, we're trying to do things with it before, and it would just keep chasing around. We'd have to pull it back and it chases around again. 
Is it giving you still enough, swinging? or you still want? Yeah, it's a little bit. I'll, I'll give you ten. That that should be that should be all right. Ten at two hundred, I think. You almost want to pull it one way for the one Bridge connector now. and the other for the other connector. Hello, step ten meters, bearing two zero zero. Thank you. Actually, it looks like they both come dead south from our diagram here. I think it folds back on itself, like both the go. Mm -hmm. Oh, there are faces. Are they fa uh, nope. facing the other side? Facing the wrong way. Yep. We'll have to spin it. <coughs> I missed it. So the bot it's on a swivel down by the weight. It's not necessarily on a swivel, but <laughs> the, it's supported from below. It's a train wheel. Oh. oh, you know what? This one you can't spin. Oh. Yeah. The other mooring you could, because this one is um, a directional mooring, so they were pointed at each other. Uh, right. So that's why they're two wire like that. So these ones are actually bolted together. So shoot. So they can walk around it. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, I just can't go. Just don't go all the way around it. Well, or if you do, you just have to go back to where you came. Yeah, you'll definitely have to go back to waking. <laughs> <coughs> you'll have to get closer to walk around it, though, otherwise you'll be pulled into it. Got to probably want to be 30 meters from it, something like that. Yeah, uh, I'm bringing Current Atalanta ten, closer. Current 10-meter move. Yeah. I mean, I could lower that Atalanta, but I'm already at 30 meters. No, that's good there. And just if I'm reading the dive plan correctly, um, we're just doing an inspection because we will not Engineer release this until there. first light tomorrow morning. No, we will prep it. So um, it's not, we'll do, we'll inspect the hardware. Actually, probably won't even do that because it's probably better that the crew recovering it does that inspection. Right. But it's just, they already did the mooring inspection to the top and down. So we're just going to disconnect these cables. So it's just something less that they have to worry about. That way we can time our benthic surveys a little better. Okay. So we, we're disconnecting it, but we're not sending it up. We're not going to cut it, uh, oh, okay. but we are disconnecting its cables from the IP. Okay. okay. So to unplug the not one the structural cables, and then go the other way to unplug the others. Or gotcha. I think just probably just do both of them from right yeah. there. Yeah, and then come back. And then come back. Yeah, yeah it'll be a shame to stop the benthic surveys a couple hours early. Just and then this goes really quick. Right on. And then, so if folks are watching, they can expect uh, benthic surveys for the entire night. Depending how this goes. Yeah. This last ten meters will take a bit because it was slowing down. Okay. So then to move another ten. Are, are you going to want to drag the cables back towards the platform, Dirk? So the one we want to drag back, um, the other one that heads off to the west, it kind of goes west for a bit and then north. Right. It's not connected to anything right now, but before we recover the RV, we'll pick that up and fly up with it to the surface. So we want to free uh, it right. enough from this mooring so that we can not snag it, but at the same time still pick it up later. We will be picking it up. So we probably want to do a counterclockwise. Well, clockwise. Hold on. Let me take it for a minute here. I got it. See a nav screen. Uh, I maybe. Can I just comment on that, Dirk? Sure. So you're planning on clipping the mooring. It goes to the surface, which normally we would back away quite a bit. But at that point, you would want to then grab the P, uh, the PBOF. Or we can stage the PBOF stage somewhere it. else. It doesn't matter. We can go pull. We can pull it in a totally different direction as well, so it's easy to grab. Okay. Whichever, whatever makes sense for the ship and ROV. It's yeah. not important. It could be right here by the anchor, too. It's just, we'd okay. like to, if we don't move it, we want to survey to make sure it's not snagged on anything on the seafloor. Okay. But I don't think we can it's go just, there. Yeah, I'm just thinking about in that moment, we cut the mooring. Normally, we want to get out of there, not mess around, go try to grab a thing, and then fly up with it. Because... Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So we'd have to stage it and set up the ship and Atalanta and Hercules in a way that we back away from this mooring 
and back away to the location of the of the PBOF. Yeah, so I think if we just take them right now, disconnect them, yeah, uh, and leave them even, yeah. we can take the one back to the IP because we're not going to touch it. Kay. But the next one, I mean, it's kind of current dependent how it sets up in the morning, right? So yeah, yeah. We don't, there's no point dragging into a place now. So and they'll set the that up later. Change, okay, right? yeah. yeah, just double checking that we're on the same page. If we move Atlanta to the south now, then he won't have to walk 180 around it. So if you give him 45, then we won't have to risk touching our tether on it. Uh, or he's planning on going around well, to Well, I the could go the other way. Oh, yeah, if you go the other way, okay. It's probably the, the cables go off that way, so it might, might make more sense. So if you go, way. yeah, then I see what you mean, south. Okay, so I came yeah. 10 meters towards it, All right. and that's still coming, and I'll just do 10, or I'll do 20 south. Yeah, then I'll put us 45, then, because yeah, yeah. our tether comes up over our head and back towards Atalanta, so if we're at 45, it won't, it, in So 20, 20 south will be kind of due east, uh, Atalanta will be due east of the mooring. All right. Okay, calling it in. Bridge and, now. Uh, yeah, you're not exactly where you think you are either, Jake. Step your, your blue dot. two zero meters south. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um. I can do a DVL reset now that we're kind of done with all the hydrophone stuff. If okay. you guys are okay with that, okay, um, with that. I'll do a quick one and see what we're see what we're working with. Try to frame up a still shot there we go. for you. That connector assembly doesn't pivot on there. I guess it's held hard on the train wheel. Um, there is a way. There's a pin. See that the two. See how the kind of the wing, two wing things that right. they're connected to. There's a pin somewhere on here, but I think it's on the other side. Or we can zoom in here and see if we can find it. But it's a single pin oh, that see. releases it, and then you can spin it. But I don't see a pin. Oh, I was just curious. It's, it looks yeah. like it's bolted down there, but I see the holes. Yeah. Well, these um. So that was so you could line it initially? Yeah, this this actually, it's a few, that is stationary, but this spins around it when it's not pinned in. So there's a, like a bushing or a standoff there. So it's, they're not actually touching each other, the bolted piece. Oh, I see. But you can pin the bolted piece to the spinning piece, I guess, so to say. There's nothing else down here at all except for this, right? Yeah, this is a okay. just double checking. I think we're just seeing some reflection and depending on where they cut the other note, the mooring that we recovered, we recovered all of it, so there's nothing to worry about. But yeah. Just the cork behind us, which is only a few meters, right? Yeah, they're quite tall, those things, aren't they? No, the corks are pretty low. Are they? They're pretty big. How tall was the cork? They're, th they're Flush tall. at the bottom. They're tall. <laughs> they're like the plug. At least as tall, if not taller, than an IP. Probably twice as tall. Yeah. Oh, yeah. really? So just a few meters. It was, yeah. it was quite, quite Yeah, I remember impressive. them being a few <laughs> meters up. It pretty much fill the, fills that hole that you saw. Yeah. Yeah. And then they have like a weird pole sticking out. Couple, it's like something out of Star Wars with like buttons and levers and stuff. But we saw it earlier, and it wasn't anywhere near here. Yeah, it's behind Atalanta. It's like, it's like maybe. pretty much dead east of the IP. Yeah. There's something to grab onto here. Uh, I, I can't remember. Cable? This there must be a thing the on verticals? the side of the parkings. Well, I mean, you can always grab the wheel. It's a flange on that wheel we can probably get a hold of. I think that's the pin right there, underneath that little piece. So it's not really useful. What's that blue tape? Pardon? That tape, that colored tape over there, is that on the pin? Wait, what's, what's that monkey fist with a pin on the end? Monkey's fist, that's the two monkey's fists on the end, they're for like, they were for spin if you it? want to spin it, you can just drag it and spin it in the direction you want. And then the, the purple thing, is the pin on the purple? That looks like a strap. It's Strap. underneath it. It's right there, I think. 
Looks think that like was a deployment strap for the. Um, that's hard to tell. Getting it off the boat. So, this straw is how how tall is this one? Two hundred and fifty meters. One hundred and fifty meters. Yeah. And we're at two thousand six hundred meters. Ish. Ish. Two thousand six hundred and fifty or sixty. Yeah. Yeah. And when there's just some some questions in the chat from people wondering how fast this ascends. Fast. I think it's the other one was twenty minutes. Yeah. Meter meter a second? Or is the, it faster? The other one was twenty minutes. I hear. I wasn't up for it, but really. It was, it What's that work out to? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes, two thousand meters. That's like ten knots. That's fast. That's enough to put a dent in a boat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so definitely uh, there's lots of calculation to make sure that we do it properly and safely. Boat's not going to get far in 20 minutes. We okay. are tracking it all the way up, but really we're just watching it. Atalanta is <laughs> about due east. Um, if you need to come around more, I could kind of creep Atalanta around a bit more to the to the southeast of the IP of the uh, mooring. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah we got time. So let me get a, a radius here, and I'll send Atalanta. So we're about 30 off from the I from the mooring. We'll keep that. I'll come around here, which means okay. two two five. Two, I'm going to have Atalanta come 205. 205? 20, yeah, 20 meters, 205. Roger. Bridge, Nav. Step 20 meters, bearing 208. Do we have two Fletchers on board? Thank you. Two Fletchers? Two parking positions, yeah. Two parking positions. Just for this occasion. And then if we still need it, I'll then creep over more westward and we'll be on the on the bottom behind it. Which one of these goes over top of the other one? The one we just want to leave and the other one we okay, so remove right connector um totally parking position. Cup game, favorite game. Cup game. So the first, we want to make sure that two blue is th that goes towards the other mooring, and uh, that's the one we want to do second. Mm, yeah, Why? so it goes. <laughs> under, under, <laughs> under. Yeah, I'm seeing the one closest to us is the one that goes far Ooh, right. Yeah, it, that's what I'm seeing. Does it go under well, or yeah. over right there? It's, you can't oh, take it. I, I think, think, think it goes under. Think under, under, oh, under, under, okay. Yeah. It never goes okay. over. So then the one farthest from us is the one under us right now. Is Are we all seeing that at the yeah, moment? Yeah, which yeah. kind of makes sense because the clear, second clear one would have been deployed. There. The one to the other mooring would have deployed, been deployed after. All right, good, good work. The one under us is the one to the other mooring? Pardon? The one under us is to the other mooring? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing. So the JB one is relatively easy to clear because we don't have to touch it again, and it's above. The other one, there's no point clearing it because we don't know what the current's going to do. We can maybe fly it back a few meters just so it's not a pain later. Yep. Are you? We're putting other moorings down here, or this pardon? We're putting other moorings down here. Come down a couple, like three meters. Stuff? Eventually, we will put more similar moorings down that are a kilometer long but hmm. not not at the site in at cascadia though so what this morning you said there were an, it was an experiment to make what look at neutrinos neutrinos yeah neutrino yeah it's like it's called a neutrino telescope so um, straw a was like preliminary tests of the site straw b tested the site a little bit more for care site characteristics mm -hmm. and then that allowed them to be confident in the site, and now they're planning like a full-scale one-kilometer mooring, and eventually an array of moorings to track neutrinos coming through. What are neutrinos? Uh, Fabio, do you know uh -huh. what neutrinos? You probably know more <laughs> what a neutrino Besides is. Besides a cool word. Subatomic particles. Yeah. They're 
there we are showered from space um, uh -huh. so they have a race like this in the Mediterranean and under the ice in Antarctica similar array of, of this optical modules uh -huh. and I mean it's not my field but uh, so this shower of neutrinos and uh, they can tell us about how galaxies are evolving so it's really uh, yeah it's particle physicists physics and yeah it tells yeah, and an astrophysicist physics as well so uh, so subsea mooring is telling us stuff about how galaxies are formed yeah yeah what's exactly. the advantage it's because it's really huh. dark what? right fabio yeah and the the, the pathfinder we call the pathfinder the, the straw and the straw mm -hmm. b they were in essence to tell how transparent the median is here mm -hmm. how the water is uh, but of course we have bioluminescence and we have mm -hmm. also uh, potassium decay that emits uh, there are some electron emissions some light emissions with the decay of the potassium so mm -hmm. they're kind of filtering out the background uh, amount of uh, light and so they can properly detect uh, this uh, subatomic particles that is I thought a neutrino was referring to some sub C particle, but you're no, it's it's the regular, yeah, it's legit the subatomic neutrino. Yeah, they yeah. like shoot through, so they can go straight through the earth and then they yeah, hit yeah. You. So yeah. The, the 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 reason we're putting here is because we already strategically, so they have one array, it's called um, Ice Cube in Antarctica, and uh, there's a. Um, uh, KM3 net in, in the Mediterranean. So they they're positioning this one in the Pacific. So you can have you have this kilometer array from different directions on Earth, huh. right? So because those particles cross the entire core of the of the planet. Right. Right. They don't stop. They don't stop. Oh, I felt one go through me just now. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this would be a very cool. I think in 2024. Uh, five, we were deploying our first uh, uh, test array of the one kilometer. There will be bundles in right. a cubic kilometer, right. but there will be like bundles of, I think, five. A um, bundle of ten, I think. Ten, ten yeah. yeah. Can you bring Adelina's head to the starboard of the of a kilometer each yeah. or something? Oof. That's yeah. tough to do Imagine that. the, Thank you. the maintaining. Uh, I think yeah. they actually... Well, I'm just thinking how many T-bosses would go through cleaning their glass <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> That'll be a full-time yeah. job for an ROV out here. Yeah. Now what you do is you get yourself a Maybe. pressure washer. Will they be maintained every year? They'll have to go clean the, um, the I think emitters the and the collectors. Uh, they will have like a lifetime of uh, several years because it'll be very, very hard to to go with an ROV. And I think they're... Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I no yeah. That's why they are, they're really interested in this biofalling, right? Uh, we're sampling all these modules for biofalling. They want to see. If you're going to be at that I angle, I could come a little bit further. Um, I'll just come s south of you a little bit. I'll just kind of keep coming around so we're okay. we'll be uh, yeah, south of it. Still getting tugged a bit. So yeah, so that out. way that yeah. it's because of the angle of your you're kind of whipped around. You know yep. what I mean? So yep. I will bring it kind of on our plane here in our safe zone. I will bring us. So after we unplug these, are we going to pull the Fletcher Bridge plates nav. out of the sleeve or just let yes. them get pulled out? No, we'll, we'll unplug it and then we'll Step two the seven meters bearing out. 175. Oh, when, you, when they do go and cut it, everything just goes free? Yeah, thank you. It'd be a shame to hang up on one of those. All right, we're almost there. We're getting out into more to the south of Hercules. Where are you going, Jake? I'm not going anywhere. To Atlanta, it's going places. <laughs> <laughs> well, just He's like actively getting wrapped up in the mooring. He's like, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> C coming in and out of auto heading. Jake, you should learn from the master instructors. And every time the co-pilot questions anything you're doing, you say to them, uh, bridge, watch your bridge. delta. <laughs> Hold position. <laughs> My delta is <laughs> yeah. because he's coming up off the seat. Well, I know, right? He's shooting up at you. Watch no, your, your delta. Your autos are misbehaving. Roger that. Stand by for another. I would turn them off for a second. I don't know what. 
Yeah, zero. Make sure everything's zeroed. So you're tugging on it. Yeah, it's just tugging on me. It's not tugging, it's a slack. You can see it. Okay, bridge snap. The autos are yeah. just bouncing back and forth. Hmm. Two, four, two, five meters bearing two, oh, five, eight. Cycling both ways, aren't yeah. they? Yeah, they're cycling both ways back and forth. And they can't find zero. Thank you. Come down five meters, Danny, see what happens. Maybe the instrument is messing click, with Click the, your uh, auto heading back on. You might be tugging right Come now. Come down anyway. a few meters. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's slack. Oh. It's slack. fully slack. It's the auto heading is going up, going bonkers. Okay. Sorry, I didn't pay attention at all. I was oh. trying to get this sorted. I called <laughs> in the, the wrong way. So. I've had three people tell me I'm tugging. I'm not tugging. Hey, stop tugging <laughs> video. Well, I don't think you're tugging, but I think there's yeah. something happening. Wrapped around to, that bowling To the times. current. <laughs> don't, don't something's pulling it. on Atalanta's heading and then pulling it back. No, it's holding steady now. Yeah. You're 30 meters out, so and when you go sideways, it's enough to try and walk the little thing around. Okay, I'm bringing out Atlanta west, lady. and that'll be then I'll bring it I south of you. It does look like it's. Is that with auto on? Yeah. What about auto off? Does it is it steady then? Auto off, the thing just starts spinning. So there's no thrust ramp, but you got a ramp? No. Zero well, the zero the uh both the yaw and the lateral. Let it spin around a little and then click it in again. Gauges. I mean, I can pretty safely say we had no opportunity to wrap around this morning, but... No, I, yeah, we never did. And there was nothing else in the water column, but... Okay, everything off. Yeah, so it's not pulling it around, so Jake's right, he's not tugging. So no, there's, there's a huge bow in the tether. Click it in now, Danny. I'll put in the autopilot, man. I'm yeah. so tired. Yeah. Tell Rennie to... What's that? favored. It, it holds fine here, but if I go over to like 270, it just yeah. gets all come disemblobulated. It should be around here, right? So it's probably the 14. It's a start. Putting my heading around 270. It doesn't want to come around the 270. I turned it off. Let me try it from the screen. Well, hold it there for a minute. Let this go like halfway. Yeah. Still doing it. Yeah, I'm getting speed no, on the it's, it's balancing out. Yeah. It's balancing. Well, because they like to smell the flowers. That's what I, you know what that means? They stop and look at the three. There's a three oscillation PID loop. I'll go a little more. Yeah. Another 20 degrees or so. Nope. Other way. <laughs> You're coming like up no, the no, other no, way around, that. Jacob. The what? Jake. You're starting to go around the other way of the morning. Like come back. Stop. I, mean, it's, I it's see nice the morning. I know, but I don't want you to go that way. You got to come around for analysis, that way. You have okay. to keep constant, right? So do a few. Disable thrusters. I mean, able thrusters. That reset the speed control. Two. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. You, if you. Or should we reset the? Uh, all, um, you can, uh, yeah, turn that, turn auto head off first. Auto head off, I'm going to shut disable, off. No, disable thrusters. Disable thrusters. And then cycle the power to the thrusters. Give them a few minutes. I think you got some current or something. It's because Atlanta when it wants to go back around tail to tail. <coughs> Yeah. Leave it. Let it. Just leave it off for a while. 
As long as it's tail to tail, it's fine. Cycle the micro strain. You still see it in silver. No, you cannot. Aft. This is aft. Yeah, right. What is that new? No, they say Yeah, it should be. Adelaide, it should be almost, almost there with this up south move here. Okay. And your um. It keeps, there must be a current, because it's, dra it's dragging uh, Atlanta. I, I moved a ship move west, and it's, still, it's like southwest. Yeah, it's probably, it's not the current, it's Atlanta swinging through. You're 30 meters away, so that's enough to tug it. I'm only 26 off the bottom, so. It's got the heavy weight. Yeah, you can come back up a bit, keep the tether tight while we're doing this. See what I mean? Like that was like a fully west move. Yeah. And it's like still going that way. It's starting to go east now. Or sorry, west. So And then from there if you need more more closer, let me know, but it's thirty meters away. Yeah. Thirty meters we're probably gonna wanna be tail to tail. Especially if you're gonna walk around a little. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's up to you. We'll keep it keep it there if you want me to Bump a bit closer, and you can spin around. It's up to you. Whatever you guys try want to do. See, it, see if it's close enough. I sometimes come down to par and use Atlanta's aft cam to watch Hercules. Easier with a 30 meter tether, though. I'm, I can also, I can bring it more around the circle <laughs> if if the angle is still not working for you. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, can yeah, we yeah. just like completely circle <laughs> it? As completely long. circle. But we more. did it. We did it the right way. <laughs> yeah. Make sure we didn't get tangled in. It. Um, yeah, that's... Yeah, do you want me to just line up behind you? We have the time. Yeah. So close. It's the, yeah, it's the angle of it. Um, so I want to be like 30 from it. So... It's pulling you around, isn't it, when you let go of it, Jake? It's pulls your... Yeah, no, it, no, it's pulling, pulling Okay, I'm going to do a, a, a west-northwest yeah. move. So 25 meters at 295. Bridge, nav. There's nothing to grab onto there. Step I mean, 25 meters bearing 295. Bottom of the train wheel or something? Or top of the train uh, wheel? We could grab that flange if you wanted Thank to, you. but I don't know if we're going to need to. Go look a little closer there for me, Jake. Yep. I can grab the edge of the flange is what I was thinking. Uh, you see can, uh, hockey pucks? I can see uh, skid marks where they landed. I think that that's where, that's where, where we landed. That's where us. you landed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to land and yeah. in the mud. Okay, this this move is going to do it, I know. There's no... Uh, I believe, I believe. There's no side plates on do there. Do you believe, so Rennie? No, the only thing we do is the <laughs> hockey believe. pucks. Did you hockey get a low pucks. grab on the you on the, the train wheel? White, the two white hockey That's pucks right, on the really. side flange. I don't think they're pucks. Well, whatever they are, they're round, they're discus, they're white. Discus. Could you get a low grab around the wheel? No, or I was is thinking I take my arm down. Like the top side part of it? Like grab this. A hold. We've tried to grab the train wheel before, it doesn't really work too yeah, well. Yeah, it seems like the leverage would be wrong, you'd be pitching. It just slips off. Yeah. yeah. And stuff your arm into the connectors. I mean, you just reach out and grab the cable. <laughs> this is the move. I know it. 
This is the way. This is totally going to be the move that's going to get us. And working Randy on his birthday, he's supposed to have the night off. What the heck? Yeah, that's all right. <coughs> Nothing like circumnavigating a mooring. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. fine. We're doing it slow. That's fine. I'm fine. Yeah, that's Bernie, I heard you got to do again. some piloting earlier. Whoa, did, holy indeed. smokes. Yeah. Had did. a change in SCF, apparently. Hello. Yeah, it's, hold on. I'm still turning you down. <laughs> hey! <laughs> What's up, y'all? <laughs> wow. Still turning you down. <laughs> Marlon hey. Marl's in the house. <laughs> Caffeinated Marley came in. <laughs> came in hot. Sorry. Wow. Should I turn myself down? No, that's do okay. We just had it. It was set for Lauren, and uh, <laughs> unsurprisingly, there's a bit of a delta. Oh, is there. this another mooring down here? Uh, if you can't turn no, up that's, mics, can that's this one. Oh. Yeah, mute. <laughs> is that what you mean? Uh, turn off your mic? No, turn, turn, <laughs> turn the volume up and down. Yeah, so we, we went based off of dead rec from the IP. Yeah, there's a headset volume is like the well, same as the, this, uh, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Side yeah. Okay. Uh, there's they're, overall they're volume. Dead usually pretty good. All right, I'm coming back a little bit on there. All like right, so then what did I call in? Difference. 295, I call in 25 meters at 295, which will put you here, right? And that should be then 30 meters away from from behind you. Okay. And if it's not, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> well, just, you know, another one that way. And then yeah, that just way. keep going. <laughs> just keep circling. <laughs> just, just draw the wagon wheel. You'll be fine. It's your birthday. You can call whatever move you want. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it kind of looks like Hercules has a, uh, a dolphin tail or something going on there, so. Yeah, it's coming. Coming around. Man, I remember we were doing a cable A and uh, the theme of this story is is a uh, is setting up the like a dumpster fire for the next watch. <laughs> so we were doing a cable lay, and it was in like a really treacherous part of the uh, like Endeavor kind of rift zone. And they're like, "Dude, we're dialed in. The ship's going this. That ship's going this speed. The cable ship's going this speed. Our ship's going this speed. We're on the bottom. Like everything's fine." And and they had slowly kept cranking up the speed because they were the layback was further back and they were getting too comfortable and so they're like you don't even have to worry about it like here's the and i'm like great so i get in the seat and at a, like there's a wall coming up in atalanta's <laughs> mezzo and we and it was like because you have to now try to slow down both ships pull up on at, it was like within within the first 20 minutes of the watch was like they were dialed in at who knows how fast, and then it was like, <laughs> and the cable's going straight up this wall. <laughs> and we like, got it, we made it over, but wow. That's the vigilance if you're kind of like complacent. You know. How are we doing for our ship position? Almost there. So Adelante is now south of the mooring, and we're just getting it southwest of the mooring, which will line up Hercules to park here without getting yanked around. Remember, where were we? We were down south somewhere, and we were coming up. We had an overhang, and oh yeah, just wire got was mad at us. That was you and me. <laughs> <laughs> we had the cable touching the wall. We had to go down on Atalanta to get there, time to move the ship away. Yeah, it was the weirdest thing. I mean, you would never suspect that much of an overhang. It must have been. Re it was really far up. It was like tens of meters above. Yeah. And it's raining down a little bit of this <laughs> concretion Where or whatever. This? this was yeah, that like was that was our clue. Jarvis, maybe. <laughs> Where's that stuff coming through the camera in Argus? <laughs> yeah. We're, and and Jess is like, I can't quite reach the wall. We're like, oh, push closer. And, you know. And she's like, no, it's no. Like, keep keep us backed away. And then we as start ascending, and and she's coming closer out, and we're realizing that <laughs> like the six eight is like up against. Like this, the overhang must have been, you know, 20 meters, 20 meters yeah. yeah, whatever, 30 meters, something like that. That was the same cruise that there was the blue coral. Yeah. Yeah. All right. That was my first cruise. See if you can settle. Was that your there. first one? That was my first cruise.
What, you guys didn't have like a tabletop meeting afterwards about what you did wrong and how to prevent oh, that from sure happening there, I'm again? sure there was one. I yeah. was above my pay grade, though. <laughs> it was the geology's fault. <laughs> <laughs> we did everything right. It was the geology that was wrong. <laughs> it's really strange. Well, some wicked overhangs there. Yeah. Yeah, let's reach out and grab him. It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? It's our delta now. It's 35, 34. So remember, you have to uh, porch out before you box out. I also got a Fletcher. Yeah, you'll have to. Yeah. Still getting pulled, but. Should be, it should be still on the move. Um. I mean, I can come down to four, five meters. Come down a couple meters, and then I can I can bump you more if you want. We've kind of drifted a little more towards forty rather than thirty. Why don't I do? You want a five meter or more towards you? Dude, up to uh. seven meters. Are we good for porch out? I didn't turn down my time. Porch out. You're probably good there, Renny. He's pretty low and we're tail to tail. So. Yeah, Roger that. Right. Atalanta's actually spinning a little bit. So. I actually kind of like that. Tool play coming out. So one of these, we decided it's the one on the left that goes to the IP. One oh. should say to the IP, one should say to blue. So say it where? Uh, maybe on the Fletcher there. So should we zoom in? Yeah, if, we, if you're okay with that. Um, on the yellow tape? Yeah, on I the Fletcher? So, yeah. you don't, Danny, you don't have to porch all the way out. I, I know, I, I stopped I stopped the porch already. But oh, I, you did? Oh, yeah, okay. but I was trying to do tool tray, and I'm not getting tool tray. You just can't see it? Look at it with your bubble. I'm looking at it in... Oh, with your other camera. Yeah, it should be written right above the connector there. Jake's got it. Oh, okay. Does that mean there's something wrong with your GUI? Could be. It could be my home. Everything could be my problem. I'm gonna restart my GUI, okay, Dan? Sure. Uh, do you still want to zoom yeah, on the Fletchers? Yeah. Zoom there. Coming in. Uh, to blue. To blue. So that's not the one we want. But we can take that do that one first. Doesn't matter. But that's not the one we're flying clear. Yeah. Coming out. To blue. That was the f the one that was far away from us. Yeah, that was over, over, over and yeah. then back. Yeah. So we'll fly the other one clear, but we can do both of them right now. It's just we want to hold on to the other one when we leave. So we can we can Fletcher blue and then back it up a few meters, or yeah. or whatever you or drop it, whatever you want to do. Yeah. It would be uh, quicker if you do one and lay it down, and then the last one you do is the one you're gonna fly away with. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. So blue first. Are you taking your tow box hey, away? Me too. Sorry. <laughs> like, I, I mean... I was confused about who was doing what there. My rack back. Just, uh, making it harder for you. I'm racking back. I'm already racked back. Appreciate it. <laughs> Spares me a season of looking at a scratch. <laughs> Ed's worst nightmare. Come on. Take the low hanging fruit.
you were talking about. You you have a DJI Mini, Dirk? Yeah, the Mavic 2. Yeah. So its altitude is the barometer, and when you yeah, I I uh -huh. when you uh, set it the home position, yeah, it um, zeroes the barometer. So walks in. I I thought it, what that was was made sense because it probably has a proximity sensor for landing, like it auto lands when you're like. Yeah, but it but that sensor it has to be within certain distance yeah. to see it. Yeah, no, hundred percent. I that's yeah. what I mean with my my friend that with the hill in between him. Right. Flew right into okay, the hill, gotta, and yeah. not, an altimeter would probably have kicked you up over it. I fly mine at home uh, from the backyard. I take off and it zeroes in. it, and then the, uh, the property goes down hill quite yeah. a ways, a couple hundred feet. Yeah. So when I go down the hill, it shows me I have negative altitude. Yeah, so it, it must be. So and then if I'm flying back and I have auto altitude on, it'll if I don't come up, it'll fly yeah. it right into the. That's into what the I hill. <laughs> figured because like we've got trees and stuff underneath and how does yeah. it would be going up and down like crazy. The new one has collision avoidance, so I don't know how that one works. The three DJ the mini three. Yeah, it's it's got lighters on it, but yeah. the, the mini doesn't. The Mavic has uh, the same My Mavic Air does. Does yeah. this one go in that way or with the puck out? Or does it matter? I don't think it matters. The, the right now the pin is on the far side, but okay, it doesn't matter. I was just thinking of the pressure on it is when it we when we go to plug it in. It's a pretty shorty. It's going to be harder without the chamfered edges to put it in this way, but it's possible. I can well, turn it around. You want the pin so it so the cable's out in front of us when you plug yeah. it in, so it's not. In the porch. So I think this doesn't matter for this one because we're going to chuck it off. But oh, okay, I'll, I'll go this way then. I don't well, matter to me. Where's the pin and the cable that's in the one you're it's unplugging? It's going to be on the bottom. So this would we'll put the pin. This will put the cable facing the ROV. Okay, so you yeah. Uh, I yeah. have it right. Yeah. Okay. You guys are making me. Well, it's good to check. Like, can you work for it? <laughs> Do another uh, 360. Yeah. For us, please. It's all in the grab, Danny. It's all in the grab. We got to keep track of how many wraps you're putting in the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at the end of the season, you just spend right, it we out. have to, we spend Ooh. two days. Yeah. We go back through all the footage. Yeah, but you got to put a drill on it. Well, put that, that drill that you use for the winch on the uh, OE. Yeah. The emergency recovery drill. I remember that thing. <laughs> Nice, nice smear. Your octopus made it into the sit rep, didn't he? Yeah? Yeah. Come on, unfreeze. Thank you. Why is this not going in? Would you like a better view of it? If you want to zoom in on me, that'd be great. I need to tilt down. Coming in. Better? We'll see if I can get this thing in here, and then uh, that will give you the answer. Pretty close. Boom. Oh, you see the little Canadian Tire logo still? Ding. That's an old Fletcher. Feels like it's thicker than the others. Do we sell the on C bucks and swag? I don't know. Yeah, I think I have one. I have somewhere. one. You have one? Oh, yeah, no. from like Coming a few out. years oh, ago. Yeah. I want C bucks. Is that good there? Okay, yeah, zoom out. Full, full wide. So, which one are we going for? The one on the left.
Bubble, bubble, mm. bubble. Pulling to the left a bit there, or to the right a bit. Well, it came out and then it just stuck. I think you're pulling it to the right. Yeah, it's got to come left. Yeah, it reverses. Okay. Look at it with bubble, you'll be able to uh. see. <coughs> Okay, Ed, do your magic. Good. You also have Bubble. Yeah, Bubble is definitely uh, my friend. Fletcher's slide now. No. Can you look at the Fletcher in there a little bit? You can tilt me down if you want. It might be a little more helpful. Not sure. I can come out a little bit. There you go. Nice. Nicely done. Saved it. Looks like you're coming out of the angle, like you're pushing it out, kind of. Yeah. If you come, you gotta get over it more. Let me hold on just a sec. Let me give you a full wide <coughs> and brighten it up a bit for you. Is that helpful? No, I'm just like knocking this Fletcher in and out because I think the top of it is closer to the ROV than the bottom, and I think you want the inverse. I don't know how to tell you to make that happen. Maybe whatever that next joint up is, move it towards the ROV. You probably got the elbow all the way, or the shoulder all the way up, so you can't get there yeah. from here. Uh, let's punch out. Because I'm all the way up against the shoulder, uh, shoulder. The only thing, the only motion I have is on my elbow. Punching out makes this much easier. Oh, that works. Now I might not be able to knock that out of there. Bonus. Zoom in, Ed. Bonus points. Coming in. Good. Look at that. Okay, so what are we doing with this? I'm going to place it off to the side. No, I don't know whether we want to fly it free like a couple meters away or just put it a couple meters away but we're gonna have to eventually get it and fly it free but not right now oh we got the other one to unplug right we still have to do the other one as well okay i'm gonna let go of this and then i'll just shove it off the porch coming out porching porching in Don't worry, I'm not going to just knock it off. I'll move it gently over there and set it down. Good. I think I can get it out there. <coughs> oh. Hey, Danny. 
Yes. Could you grab it and put it kind of over here? That was my plan. Oh, that's what you're doing? Nice. Because it might be that we can free the cable from the other connector side, right? Just pull it later on from the, from the other mooring. But anyways, if, as long as it's not tangling up with this one. I thought it was all that this one was over and that one was under. It didn't twist around. No, this one's fine. No, I mean, like, we can take... I meant when we fly the other one over. I don't think it no, twists. It I think it was all it under and or over. Right. Yeah. No, you're right. I'm talking about when we grab the other connector on the other end of this cable he's holding onto right now. We could probably free it. Like, we could drag it from that side. Yeah. That's, like, towards the... Kind of the north... North east, west. Okay. Okay, now we got a toolbox out, but we got to put our porch out again. Grab the other Fletcher. Porch out. Good. Our porch out, ROV back. <laughs> toolbox out. Uh, da, 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 da. I can pull our tool tray out and see if it works. Oh, that's right. Our porch is on a proportional valve now, so it's... <laughs> it's interesting, to say the least. You could put... Um, uh, I don't know how the encoder works, if it works both ways from zero. The one we usually use for... Uh, there's one of the encoders there on the joy box. Uh, I think you can cycle oh. through to that valve. Oh, well, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, there we go. I don't know. Oh, no. Just spare one, two, three. That's it. It only goes to three. I wonder if that's in an any file. There's another one for Probably. you to look at. That would be cool if you could just twist it one way and it. Yep. Twist it the other way. It'd be really nice if those had a press stop. So this one is also I think pin pins away facing from out. This. Pins away, so uh, it's on the bottom of the connector, correct? Yeah, it looks like this one might be flanged on your side as well now, though. Nice. Okay, so porch in. Double flanged. Portrait in. We need 30% to get that one to move in. 25. 25. Nice and slow. Yeah. I kind of like it on a proportional valve. Yep, come on in. Yep, Four. Oh, you all the way in? Right. Jelly? Right at the bottom. I don't know what that is, but it looks oh, like yeah. a gelatinous. Okay. Might have tied, nailed it to the floor with a grip. Okay, give you a little bit of zoomage. Yeah, that would be nice if we can, but yeah, we're in the middle uh, of looks something. like it's leaving. Yeah, not much when you're done with this. Oh, I'm get saying, this in Charlie. There. Yeah, there we go. Okay, zoom in. Gotta tilt the head down, obviously. Yep. I think the tilt the other way. Keep going that way, keep going, keep going. Yep. There you go. Watch your tension when you release. Yep, doing uh, Dan's tension trick. That's uh, usually how I get poked in the eye. Is somebody's getting something out of the toolbox and they build up tension that they're not aware of. It used to be up the shoulder would hit the light bar and then when it finally gave way. Okay, uh, I'm probably gonna have the toolbox out. 
Well, not to a box, I mean, poor child. I'm full, full wide. Yeah, you're gonna have to clutch out if I am all the way shouldered up. It's beautiful. Somebody should insert Herc's draining noises right here. Probably just want to bring your elbow down a little bit. Okay, re release it. I'll yeah. bring the heading back around. You can just push the ROV back. Or you can push the ROV back. Yeah. Push it back with the manipulator. Won't stir the vis up so bad. Put it right where you want it, Danny. Okay. Yeah, your shoulder's up there. It's your... That's my problem. Yeah, bring the ROV back where you want it and then let Jake plan it again. Solid. Well, you're, huh? hold, you're holding them up. Yeah, you oh, gotta, I'm holding you up. you got to move the... Yep. Gently move the manipulator to get the front of the ROV That's where you want it. get all dusty. Other way. Other derby. It's weird flying an ROV with an arm. Yeah, keep coming to your left. Bring the porch to your right. Nice and easy. Yeah, now you can... Lift the manipulator up a little and we'll plant the front of the ROV back down. Now you can see which way you got to pull. Stuck on there. Well, if you want to fly back a little bit, we can. Uh, well, um, while we, when we're here, can we knock those two things out of the thing using the connector? Oh uh, yeah. Or okay. Or we can uh, put it in the parking position first, or whichever. Uh. Oh, no way, um, I'm gonna put it in a parking position, but, uh, dust is gonna be settled pretty quickly. I can see it already. Yeah. Give you a little vacuum action.
Yeah, I couldn't see, but sure. Can you hold it? What? I gotta pull these things out. Okay. Did we see the, did we confirm that it clicked? No, we still have to confirm that. But, I mean, if you can pull those out, we can check that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I Just double check them. <coughs> do we want, wait, do we have dust cast for these or? No, they can just go. Okay. See what I'm doing. Oh. There's a cable there. Do you want to zoom? Yes. Ready? Ready. Coming in. I don't see any notches. Oh. Sure looks good. Yeah. Okay. The wide video? Wide video I. Do you want this just thrown in the mud here? Or? No, no, let's fly it back to the IP. Gotcha. That's going to take some maneuvering. Is there anything we have to do here? Because I'm going to be moving Atalanta quite a bit. Uh, no, we're done. Okay. It doesn't have to go all the way to the IP. You get to go halfway to the IP. I just wanted to wait from these ca from this other cable. So if we can fly it free or to the, to the west. Did we follow that orange cable here? Yeah. Yeah, so that's your path back. It's okay. kind of like your same heading. You just have to like get away from it and then go that way and then that's the yep. IP the red the red target Just do a little shuffle um, slide I don't think I can go directly there with Atalanta it's a little close to the mooring so I'm gonna do a little double move oh fancy first I'm gonna go 40 meters 065 okay. I'm just gonna call that in now it'll bring it closer to you anyway bridge nav do I'm gonna pull you off of the uh, mooring Step four zero meter is bearing zero six five. Thank you. And that that may be bring us um, as close as twenty or twenty five meters. Uh, the mooring will pass through it's without Atlanta, dusty. but it'll be uh, it'll be fine. Go ahead, bridge. Oh, that's all. Thank you. There we go, confirming that it's not passed over. No, it looks like it's rising up. Yeah. Yep, it's up. So you might have no, to... No, it's under the other one, isn't it? No. No. Is it? No, no it's, it's over. Not. Oh, okay. It looks, okay. looks pretty good. Yeah. Just, so you, the other just one lateral. You might just have to wait, yeah. 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 I saw the other one come up a little bit, so I'll just... Just, uh... Your, your X wide? Okay, cool. Yep. We can see the mooring in the, um... 180 yep. cam too. Cool.
I got it in sonar right in the corner. Cool. Can I go ahead and give me a happy heading? I mean, a uh, lock of heading on Atalanta? I hey. don't know if you'll be able to right yeah, now. Yeah, we're still a little stretched. Tail but to tail. Yeah, once we get a little bit of forward I'm gonna away. I'm going to lift this guy up off the deck, though, a little bit. And the land was getting down to like 30, 25 meter delta. be doing all this stuff next month too, uh, our little site, but I'm going to be using an Orion manipulator and I'm going to be all kind of backwards. <laughs> because I'm, where's my other joint? Because your Orion doesn't have this extra axis on the, on the wrist. It gotta take some getting used to. So Dirk, once we lay that uh, close to or at the IP, um, what's the plan? Um, then Fabio's gonna give you a list of benthic surveys. Okay. So we can run through. Rene, yes. On page nine from on the dive plan, mm -hmm. there's twenty random oh. five hundred meter <laughs> transects. Oh, so we can pick a first one. Probably the, the most oh. convenient from our. Let's do number thirteen. Thirteen. Yep. That's about three. So this is from the IP, or what? Yeah, well, from from the most of the are. Do they all dog leg? They all have an angle in them, or yeah. Okay. <laughs> just just making sense of it. I here. think that was that was Paul that put together. I think that was with the bathymetry, trying to stay constant. At the same, sort of, don't verge too much of that, of the Isabat. Okay. Um. Maybe the one of the ones that goes straighter. <laughs> <laughs> then some of them kink pretty hard, it looks like. 19 looks straight. I can't see the 16, numbers right now. 16, and then we could come back from 7, yeah. for example. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll do that once we get to the IP. So that'll be 3, 1, Of course, two. Ed wants to do the hardest one. No, I chose it because it's the 13th. It's Ronnie's birthday. Yeah. I'm milking this for another hour. Yep. Uh, we'll see if uh, Dan lets me fly it. What are you talking smack up there? <laughs> Wait, do you fly these no or smack. you just program there was, them? There was no smack at all. You're just doing autos? I don't know. I guess so. I guess yeah. that's not really flying. <laughs> Make sure you take the uh, joy box and just put it in your lap. It's a lot more comfortable that way. <laughs> <laughs> What's so Robert made Jake fly, and he would, wouldn't get the out of the seat. Like Jake fly yeah, it. I would fly from over there. <laughs> Bob doesn't like to get out of the yeah. seat. Oh, of course not. It's a comfy, it's yeah. a comfy seat. <laughs> what am I looking at on the left there? Yeah, that's, that's the mooring. That's the mooring. I mean, the there's no difference, really. I mean, just Sorry, I can't hear you, Dirk. You're off. Um, I don't have Dirk. Is yeah. your microphone? I don't hear well, Dirk either. S Th there you go. I, I got you. I'm only on SPL, otherwise I kept forgetting to my mute Yeah, yeah, mute I got myself. you. What's up? Um, so that cable that we're seeing there is heading off towards the IP, right? The one that we're holding? Yes. Yes. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Are we waiting for a ship move? We are. Okay. Yes, we are. Yeah, it's pretty slow moving. Hopefully to the right or back. So the ship's already completed its move a bit ago and Atalanta's only just starting to move. 
trip. Hello. Ooh, kind of remember Barry's name. Does anybody happen to recall the name of the shrimp expert at the University of Texas in Austin? No. Let me just file, uh, look in my uh, brain for random facts that I have never thought of knowing. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go with Mary Foster. Ah, uh, nope. Mary Wixton. Strawberry. And Texas A&M is close. Somehow I have her entire bio, too. So Jake, do we need to print you a Mandalorian helmet to wear while you're flying Hercules? Why Mandalorian? I don't see why not. Why not? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so there's that mooring uh, just 25 meters out. Okay. A Chewbacca suit would be more I, fitting. I was just thinking the Chewbacca, Chewbacca mask that like yeah. makes a noise when you open your own mouth. Uh -huh. That would be that would be the move. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was thinking Mandalorian. You know, good pilot. Chewie, co-pilot. <laughs> oh yeah, Grogu's the actual pilot. As soon as you said that word, I just know there's going to be comments coming in. <laughs> I don't know, is anyone still watching? There we go, it's 20 meters out, and it's going to it be strafing. I don't know, Marley left like 90 minutes ago, we haven't seen hide her hair. We uh, have 21 people supposedly watching what this. Ooh. What are you doing? Well, I know one of those is on an iPad, iPad just running oh, yeah. in the background. Yeah, yeah. Twenty. <laughs> it's going down, guys. <laughs> You're gonna have to. I'd like to acknowledge the viewers and we'll we leave. That. <laughs> okay, you should before. be able to drive away a little bit um, towards the IP. Maybe. Well, it has been All the right. maximum number of people locking in auto heading on. on one um, I mean, <laughs> we've had well over a hundred. Danny, want to try locking so in so auto heading at Atlanta? Yeah, yeah right here. Uh, a really, like a really good dive is typically like 300-ish people tuning in. And then see if you can face uh You turn both the thrusters back on? It also depends on that would help. time zones Time's and yeah. stuff, you know, like we people do have awake. a big bulk of our viewers. We get viewers all over the world, but we do have a big bulk of viewers who are in the United yeah, 1. States 4 and on the East Coast. And I think I need a Obviously, it's basically 2, 3 in the morning there, so. Mm -hmm. Oh well, no, that's you. You got 1.4 tower. Uh, it's from Argus spinning around with no auto heading on. It, it did a full spin. The 681 maps is zero. Well, yeah, it happens. Okay, I'm going to step a bit closer to the IP. You should be able to fly for a little bit, but Argus is still on the move. Um, I'm just going to go 25 meters, 035. Bridge nav. Two five meters zero three five. Thank you. Well, look, I can see hook. So yeah, we'll just 
It'll just double back under us. Okay. Do you want to keep visual on it, Dirk? It's good. Okay. Come up a little bit on the delta. Coming up on the delta. Now that I can. Nice to offset it a little, Jake, so when we drag it back, you go to your right of this a little more. Oh, you can still see it out there. So, Ed, do you ever play with Atalanta's camera, or is it just always full zoom out um, and nothing? Well, not when you're 150 feet away or whatever it is. Uh, uh, we just can't get a shot that far away. Yeah. Um, when you have a 30 meter tether on, we go for all sorts of tight shots of Herc working and doing stuff. But uh, we've been okay. working with Coming Argus down. more, and Argus has two forward facing cameras, a Zeus Plus and a dash camera. So mm, yep. you, you can switch to the dash camera for tether management while I'm getting close shots of Herc. So we don't have that on Argus, and certainly not with a, was this a 500 meter Roger. tether? <laughs> yeah, it feels like it. Yeah. I mean, it's super nice in the vents. I'm sure you've seen some of the nice shots we have of Herc working, but those were from Argus or at well, yeah, Atlanta. All right, Danny, you ready to toss this thing off? Say the word, and uh, I will commence tossing. Word. So this is the one that's tossed. staying down here, right? Okay. Do you want to mark? Okay. Yeah. Um, so, yes, from the IP, it's 32 meters bearing 235. Uh, two, three, five. Yeah. Is the IP at the end of this cable? Yeah, so you follow it. We're about 20 meters from that now. Yeah, Roger, yeah. 20. It's uh, encroaching, it'll encroaching on the danger ring. Yeah, it'll um, it we'll be go passing by, by it? it. Yeah, yeah, it should stay in the in that right at that. You want to zoom ring. there? You zoom video coming in. Good. Just looking for a still shot. I don't know. And if he says anything I need to know, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> You, can I hear you you've, been off, on you've been off SPL, but we've just been guessing what you want. <laughs> oh, get, get I it can hear you raised. from the back row. Just like, <laughs> well, that's great. <laughs> Looks like it's still connected. Okay, Atalanta's still coming toward too, but probably slow. Okay, Roger. that's it, I think, on to Benthic service. On to Benthic service. Yep, so still heading to the IP, and then we'll do our... Uh, our radial out Roger, from I'm it. gonna take it a wrap. Okay, take out your wrap. Okay. Uh, Ulrike, do you I'll have this one? Rest. What do you want me to name it? Or oh, it should homework for Derek. Bobby, are you on comms? I am on comms. I, um, I don't have a die plan. Is it uh, set up for this survey the same as our others? Yes. Okay. Have not speed, a meter, meter and a half altitude. Point three knots speed. Point three knots. That's that's the best. Then we take it out. How can you count all those animals at half a knot? Are you? Is this a uh, transect or is this stop transect. and zoom? Mm, yeah, you can do half a knot. It's flat. Point three is better. 
it's just half a knot when at this depth that we get such a layback with Atalanta, then you gotta, you know, stop and wait for it to We're do not that stopping, big I don't swing. think though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bridge now, so I don't have a plan. How far is the, uh, what's the distance? Three zero meters, zero three five. Five hundred meters. Thank Because it depends on the direction too, whether the boat can, I guess in this weather it can do it. What, do you have a, a bearing in mind? Yeah, we have a, Rennie has all the... Oh, Rennie has a map? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, I didn't get that far in the dive plan. It's on page nine. It'll be backing up, but I think we can do that in this weather. Yeah, half a knot backwards. Gauges. I'm good with that. Be a good time for gauges. That's a good idea. Let me put in this thumb for I apologize for those small numbers. Yeah, that's okay. I'll get them all. Holy cow, look 16. at all those squiggly lines. Just gonna underline it and then put it in the Bear with me while I type some coordinates in, but Atalanta is still getting over there. What are these? Dog leg? Yeah. Is that comic That's why I chose 16, because it's only slightly dog legged. <laughs> one, two, seven, seven. <laughs> That's so crazy. What were you drinking when you made this plan, Fabio? Did a computer make it? <laughs> that was Paolo. That was our junior scientist. <laughs> Did you ask Chat GBT to draw yeah. up a benthic <laughs> survey for well, you? Well, that was some sort of random. It, it, it's supposed to be random. It kind of seems like it. Oh, it's supposed to be random? Oh, these oh, are yeah. starting. Chat GBT, make a random survey pattern for me yeah. <laughs> using this, these coordinates. So, hold on. Pretty, Th these start random. from different points other than the IP. Yeah, it depends where where we are during the right oh, okay. to accommodate any any. Yeah. Of the okay. Okay. <laughs> so let me see then. Uh, it's a very <laughs> tiny center here that I'm trying to figure out where we are in the center. I think we should do the one, the acute angle one that goes north and south. That's the nope. <laughs> <laughs> like, you, you you can actually just get the the start and end point. I mean. Yeah. yeah. You but don't. You don't need to use the three points in the in the line. Just get the the start and end. I can do that. Or, but I mean, sixteen is pretty straight. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it starts. Oh, if you care about the start, it starts yeah, way yeah. over here, which we can go to and then start there if you officially want to, or we could just do a range of bearing from the IP. Um, but we do those off comms for a sec. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to try to find one that's closer to us, but they're all kind of. Yeah. They all, it's a start, definitely a. I can just take us over to the start of that, if point. that, if that. Which one? If, if you want me to start at 16, it's over there. <laughs> I can, I can bring us there to start. Let's do that then. What's that? It was in there the other day. Oh, okay, wait, I might be mistaken, this. sorry. 7317, sorry, I might have mistyped here. Seven, five, six, Pulling seven, up eight. a fluke. Okay, no, much better, much better. Resolved. Ignore me. Video's back on comps. What kind of toys you got in here? <laughs> Lego maker. That's a big box for a Lego maker. I'll run downstairs, Jake, and we'll come up and rotate. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Full autos, anyway. <laughs> Sixteen two. Let's see where that is. 
So you can, you know about these autos? Did Dan tell you about these? Slightly for about two minutes. So these control, like, you can enter, like, your max, max velocities. Velocity. So if we wanted to go a little bit faster. We don't, we're not sure about the, what these units are, but we have, it's either meters per second or knots. Yep, or something it's one in of between. those two. Um, but <laughs> point, point 0.1 or point 0.15 is, like, a good speed. So you can change it. To, and then if you want to, like, step aft, step aft, and it's right now it's set to five meter steps, so it'll step backwards at five meters at this speed. Oh, and then if you cool. want to if you want to kill a move while you're in the middle of it, you just come up, unclick auto X Y and go back into it, and then it will actually hold station again. Okay. And then so you can also a, uh, like a transect that's going to be a hundred meters long from this to here. Yep. You just yep. put it up. And then um, you can either. I mean, you, you don't have to use any autos for a transect. You can drive it, or yeah. you can use all of them, or you can use, like, you can take off auto depth and just do depth, because sometimes the auto depth function's a little, you know, yeah. wavy. Yeah, but this is flat. But it's flat, and so it's pretty good. And then so you can also, we like to do this the step very slow for the, um, and very little steps for the, for, so you can step down slowly, okay. and it will come down. So I can go gold two meters, but you will see, like, it will overshoot two meters. And crash. See? So that's oh, the one thing you have to be careful about. Yeah. It does overshoot, yeah. Okay, I almost there. Uh, so, with Atalanta. X is going forward? Yeah, X is forward. That makes no sense. No, that's right. And that's why. Great. X is forward, Y pose. is left to right. And oh, I guess Z if you're going, full, you're going forward this way, but if you're looking at X, Y, Z... No, if you're looking from a map you're overhead... a plane yeah. going forward. It's a uh, north, machinist. North X, down. X is this oh. plane. Huh. <laughs> that seems crazy Negative to me. Negative X is left, yeah. uh, positive X is right, Y is up. Yeah. Usually you use two different reference frames for robots. It's northeast down or east north up. Yeah. For this one, it's northeast down. Okay, step on the other side of that IP. Okay. And then I'll do a DVL reset, and we will set up for this. Do 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 do. There you go. It's fine. It's good there. You sure? Yep. Okay. And then uh, just hold for a while. We'll get a nice set for DVL while Atlanta catches up. And then we will make our move. Let me know when you guys are ready to, to adjust the camera settings. Okay, I'll let you know. So what's the button button do? Makes more buttons. <laughs> it enables oh, it was, the buttons. Yeah, it was like you had to... Oh, okay. I'm just, there's a button button, so I'm just yeah, like... Yeah, it's the button button. It enables the buttons. Okay. You can't use any buttons if you don't click the button button. Okay, hop out of auto XY. Okay, <coughs> Actually, you can go back in auto XY if you want. Yeah. I said that wrong about the east. It's actually X is surge, Y is sway. Yeah, uh, the surge is forward surge, though. The surge, yeah. map frame is east north up. The robot frame is... Alright, use your fancy buttons to back up a meter or two. One meter? I don't know, get all set up on the ground here and you're gonna be facing... Give me a second. Three, one, two. Th 
Step X positive, step X negative, Y positive, Y negative. Why yeah, not? so if you look up vehicle Fabio, does frames, this transect number 16 it's in the X is plan? usually surge yes. for okay. a ship. We'll Thank you. Okay. Y is usually like sway. Okay, it just it just blows my machinist mind. Yeah, That's coordinate all. frames. Ready, Dan? Oh, we're rotating. Go. We're having a conversation about X and Y and Z. Bridge now. Uh, step 10 meters, bearing zero, 040. Zero. Thank you. Fabio and Dirk is a non work question. Is Z uniquely American? Do any other countries say that? They say Z. I know. They left, didn't they? No, they're still there. Z? Yeah, Is saying the letter Z. Uh huh. Is that uniquely American? Why? Do you ever hear anyone else, any other country say Z? We say Z. Yeah, Z. Yeah. Oh, Z, yeah. Probably. Yeah, but is it a zebra? Zeb zebra? Is it a zebra? I don't know. And if it said, why is it JZ? Oh, I know why. Never mind. Just answer my own question. JZ. Okay. Okay, uh, Atalanta is just going to be settling in above you shortly. Right, and we are going to. Set up to over here. Yep. So set up for video, get your altitude and everything, and we're going to be heading 314 for just over a kilometer. 314 for a kilometer. What altitude do we want? That's up to Fabio. I think it's like 1 or 1.1, 1 .1, I think. Yeah. As far down as you can go. I think Dan's is 1.6 is the happy zone. Is that right, Dan? Yeah, I set for 1.3 or 1.2, something like that. There's a squat on top of that depends on cable. The, depends on the terrain. Or uphill I think it's going to be pretty flat, aside from these cables right here. So, Dan, am I doing this autos, or how we you want me to do this? Oh, uh, you can. I kind of want to play with the autos a little bit just to understand how they work. Here, I'll show you. Do me a favor, pop out of Auto XY real quick. And you can go back in. Thank you. This is Transec 1 6. 1 6. So camera set. So it's racked all the way forward and tilted down. Go back all the way forward. What's your altitude? Still adjusting. Copy. Camera set. So that's a hundred meter step. Yeah, you can set these to wherever you want them. 